Okay. No, I I can speak a little bit. Okay, no problem. I have no I have no no slides to prepare, but I'd like to speak a little about about the two concepts that I think they are very interesting for this kind of cooperation. It's the open innovation and the collective intelligence. Uh, from my experience during the last uh, almost uh, 15 years in everything that is connected with social uh, information and innovation, I think that these two concepts are very good to express what's going on in terms of the interaction between the national systems of health and all the um, uh, actors that are involved on them. So open innovation, as you know, is a concept that was uh, developed uh, some years ago in Harvard by Andrew Schisberg, that is a well-known teacher. And uh, what he says about is that the companies, uh, for instance, a health company, should develop new products and new service with the customers, with the suppliers, and with all the community. So I think that one of the most reasons for the success that we've had in the last years in the national health systems, even in Portugal, for instance, is that in fact we have a very good standard of open innovation between the big companies. And here in Portugal we have, for instance, Pial, which is a very big company, and we have others, the multinationals, the startups, and all the university and centers of competence that we have in Coimbra, Oporto, and Lisbon. So open innovation for me is very important because it's the basis for giving the national system of health a capacity of trying to be better and better in the quality of system they have to the service, to the citizens, and to the institutions. And I think that in the future, with this crisis of the COVID, we must be more and more able to see open innovation as the real platform to have new products for that. The other comment that I think is very important, and I will try to summarize to be very, very short, is collective intelligence. Collective intelligence is a concept that was developed in MIT some years ago by Professor Thomas Malone. Uh, it, it tells about the importance that in the community we have in terms of to develop a new kinds of interactions that give this connectedness the new uh, kinds of trust and the confidence. This concept was developed later on in the uh, UK with the Nesta. Uh, uh, Jaime Kizad, I ask I you to conclude very briefly because we yes. are delayed. Okay. And, and I was and telling you. Yes. about this and Patricia as a presentation that she must deliver before 5.30. Can you conclude, please? Yes, collective intelligence will be, as I thought, a very important item in order to give the national systems confidence in what the doctors are doing. And I think that one of the key uh, as to be uh, successful in terms of fighting this pandemic is the way of trust we have in the system, in the people and in society. Thank you so much. We have more time to discuss this because we're going to start in a few minutes also the, the Knowledge Cafe. So please stay okay. around.